Hello, today I will be showing you how to freeze time. First what I'll do is I'll create a clone of myself. It's as simple as that. Hello, welcome to the freeze time tutorial. Freeze time is like an easy effect, but it's not a hard effect, so say it's an intermediate effect. Again, an easy effect would be like the force effect. One of the force effects, not with a string, like where when you drop it and then reverse that. That's an easy one. And And so now, this is how I did the how to freeze time thing. So first what I did was I basically got some footage of me like this. <coughs> I jumped. Then I moved to the side. And then I pretended what I was doing. Of course, this is this is different audio than what I did in the actual thing. I I made the audio a little louder and redid it. As simple as that. And then I come up and did. well, as you can see, I only for part of it I only selected this part where I am jumping. Like this, this only this part. That's all I selected for that. Then I also got some of this. And then all of the talking, but none of me walking up to t turn off the camera. So now what's going to happen is, um, um, now what I'll do is I, well, I, what I will do, oh, sorry, I got distracted. What I'll do right now, now what I did was I, you, I, so I added a freeze frame, if in case you don't, you could add a freeze frame, or what you, what you can do is, so I found right here where I was jumping and where I found the best place. So this is where I found the best place. Now, a minute. So now what I'll need to do is I will Now what I'll need to do is I will now have to So what I'll do now is I will, um, so look, um, what I did was I selected the point where I was jumping and I took a good time player video of it. Um, you could add a freeze frame, but I just took a good time player video of this and then added that and then that is a video that called Frozen. I can't play that right now because I'm using QuickTime Player to record my iMovie and that is QuickTime Player's how to play. But this is basically what it had.
Look, so it's just plain like this. Now anything that's happening on the side, that's okay. I crop I didn't need to crop that off because the way I do the cloning effect is I do an overlay of my video or uh, my this video on top of this video and then what I do is in the overlay section change that to green slash blue screen and then there's right here in the cleanup you can drag these points to where he'll be so he he's part of my video now but if I don't want that I can just move that to the side but and there's also a little bit of cleanup involved because you might see that it could be a little discolored so you can just change that until they both are kind of the same color. And now right here, I just changed, I just split this clip and changed it with this overlay. But it's very well lined up because, um, because this is, I was, see, if you look at the frames when I was jumping, at, at the end of this clip, I was on this frame, which was right, I was on this frame, which was, which was right, yeah, which was right there, over that. So, uh, that's why it was kind of lined up, it was right, it was a frame that was right before it. Okay, moving on. Now, you can see, I just say, it's as simple as that. And then, as the rest of, for the rest of the video, remember how I fell down? That's when I added in the falling down on the ending where it says bye and everything. So, I'm like, just like how, how he finally escaped the frozen time zone. So, now if we want, we can watch the whole thing. Hello, today I will be showing you how to freeze time. First what I'll do is I'll create a clone of myself. It's as simple as that. And then you can see right here, uh, once, I, once I got to the jumping part you can see that he since his arm goes out a little further I had to um, mask off myself further I don't think it's masking off but I had to cut away myself well that's that now I could have so if you watch the original video where I where it's kind of late and I say three two one and then he's supposed to be frozen. He's already frozen before. I could have done that, but that would be more time consuming and it wouldn't have lined up as well. That's why I didn't do that. Okay, so thank you for watching. This is how to freeze time and this was the tutorial for how to freeze time on the effect. Oh, and if you're wondering about this, this is just a title, which was Prism. And then after I typed in the text, I just, these are very simple things. See, look, the, this is white. Here, let me just give this an outline too. This is white, but while this is blue. And I made it like that because like blue, it's not, it's cold like that. See, now this is what it looks like. Today I will be showing you how to freeze time. First what I'll do is I'll create a clone of myself. 